Aisha radiallahu anha, our mother, was falsely accused of a sin that she had not committed. And the rumors, they spread to such an extent that they were accepted as facts. At this time, we see that even her mother and her father could not say a word in her defense. At this time of loneliness, Aisha radiallahu anha took comfort in the words of Prophet Yaqub alayhi salam that are mentioned in the Quran. فَصَبْرٌ جَمِيلٌ وَاللَّهُ الْمُسْتَعَانُ عَلَى مَا تَصِفُونَ That beautiful patience it is that I shall observe, and Allah is the one whose help is sought against the lies that you say. The fact is that the Quran is a source of comfort and guide for every single one of us. It is, after all, the speech of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes it as good news, as mercy, and as healing for those who believe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَهَذَا ذِكْرٌ مُبَارَكٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ This is a message that is blessed, and we have sent it down, we have revealed it. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said, إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَأْدُبَةُ اللَّهِ Indeed, this Qur'an is the banquet of Allah. فَمَنِ اسْتَطَاعَ أَنْ يَتَعَلَّمَ مِنْهُ شَيْئًا فَلْيَفْعَلْ So whoever is able to learn something from it, then he must do so. So I invite you to this royal banquet, to the upcoming Al-Maghrib class, I Am Her, Life and Leadership Lessons from the Women in the Qur'an. Please register at almaghrib.org.